A four is a uh, is a good is a good start. Hey, suck it. Saberlight, <laughs> <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> What the heck is up, guys? It's your boy Saberlight back in the house. Nice to have you. Nice to nice to be here, guys. Yeah, good to have you. Good to have you. I've got three questions for you, Saberlight. Uh, the first one is, and I don't know if I'm noticing this correct, so correct me if I'm wrong, please. But as far as I can see, you are at home. That is indeed correct. As you can see, this is my this is my uh, nice place. I, that's that's where I live. You know, nice nice. Uh, nice uh, I don't want to. Dos myself, or no, no. sorry, uh, dogs myself, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I'm chilling. But um, I, I'm leaving to Berlin in like three hours. I have, oh, a, I have okay. a train, so yeah, after after we do all the interviews, I'm, I'm gonna pack. I actually didn't pack yet, <laughs> so I need to pack and and I'm gonna join the other guys. How long is the train ride for you? Uh, it's like four hours, oh, not, that's too not bad. bad at all. That's actually really nice, it's pretty chill. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, well, glad to hear you joining the guys in uh, in Berlin. Uh, and I also, <laughs> we watched earlier today your base race, and um, you went for Omni Knight. Now, did you only pick Omni Knight so you could sabotage fly? Yeah, you know, it's like I don't know these content pieces. They're always so boring. It's just two clowns, you know, hitting towers. So I, I had to get creative with it. I was like, you know, what's like the most creative hero I can pick for a base race? So I went with Omni Knight. I think you're the only one that ended up going for Omni Knight, so I respect you for uh, thinking out of the box, that's for sure. I've got one Dota-related question, because we, we you've been winning a lot recently, so we already talked to Balba and to Fly, <laughs> to Arteezy, and in particular, Balba and Fly said that playing with Mikey has had an impact on the, of, on the team as to, well, first of all, you already learned how to play with stand-ins in the past, of course. I mean, yourself have, has been a stand-in in the past, so you know what it takes to make people feel comfortable. Uh, but there's been also lessons for you as a team, and I was wondering what lessons you in particular have learned from having Mikey, in this case, as a stand-in. Um, I think he's somewhat similar to Abed, which is nice. So, like, the, the playstyle doesn't change that much. He's a bit greedier, but I think they, they're very similar players. I just learned, like, how to play with new heroes a little bit, like, you know, like this, this Oscar mid, uh, I rarely play with Oscar mid, so I think everybody in our team, it was like a learning experience. Like we were, I think at the end, that was like, you know, what what item helps you more, Mikey, uh, you know, Solar or, or Vlad or whatever, because we actually have just no idea how to do it. So Mikey was like kind of leading the game in a way. So that was nice. And he's just, you know, very often he's like going for these like uh, plays on the sideline where he like solo kills someone. I think that's that's also nice to, to have because I I think the the longer you are in the pro scene, the the less likely you are gonna go for those kind of plays. Yeah, it's it's a bit more risky. He was uh, he was willing to take those risks. You think that's the the difference yeah. maker? Yeah. I'm here with uh, Sheep and Effie and Pyrian. They'd also like to ask you some questions. Oh, I got some. What up, Saber Chad? Um, what up? After you tweeted and said, I have a girlfriend, all you Twitter girls need to stop DMing immediately. Did you get a <laughs> massive uptick in more DMs or did everyone respect your wishes? Let's let's see. I'll check for you right now. But yeah, as you can see, I, I didn't know that you're going to call me out on it like on a live broadcast, but you are correct. I do have a girlfriend right now. So, you know, now if we can spread the message even further. <laughs> uh, guys. Or, or rather, girls, stop your uh, attempts to, to seduce me. I am already taken. And uh, to answer your question, uh, there is uh, no no girl DMs in my in my DMs. So oh. it, it worked like a charm. And what congratulations. And for all the lonely Dota souls out there in Twitch chat especially, um, how, how do they get as much drip and, and riz as you to get a girlfriend? Well, I, I, would, I mean, look at me. <laughs> Like, you know, when you have a body like Jesus, <laughs> when you have a body like this, I went to gym. So as you can see, pretty strong fella, big legs, uh, ripped out, you know. So that's that's my recommendation. Get some get some nice clothes, go to the gym, get your mental health in check. You know, that was also a very important step. As you can see, I'm a very mentally stable person. So I wouldn't even say the most mentally stable. So that's very, very convenient when getting a girlfriend. And then, of course, the last step is just being a Riz Lord, such as myself. <laughs> so that also helps. Thank you. I will use those tips later. 
Wow, I don't even know how to follow up on that. I mean, I'm so in awe of your your riz and your your majesty and your. Please, uh, Eddie, he has a girlfriend. Eddie has a girlfriend. He, 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 he made a no. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I've there never go, seen guys. someone so overpowering <laughs> in their charisma and charm. Good for you, Saberlight. Okay. Okay. okay so, honest question now. I've asked a lot of people this, but everyone's like, I don't know. Tell the truth. With the new patch, which team do you think is going to be the scariest to play against? Which team do you think will adapt to it the fastest? And don't say Shopify. I was going to say us. <laughs> that, that's my plan, you know. Liquid is very hard to beat, so the, the plan is to just like wait for the new patch, find the most OP stuff, and then just roll over them. But yeah, I think I think Liquid, honestly, because they're like, you know, they have uh, very good ideas. Either them or Tundra, if they make it through the, the playoffs. Because both of these teams uh, have like a really smart coach and they have really smart approach to Dota. So I would assume that they, you know, they they like try and uh, try out an idea and commit to it. If there was all the G in this tournament, I would say them as well. Because you know, Sepp and uh, Johan they have also really good ideas. But yeah, the, the other teams, the, their ideas are kind of not as good. Okay, very cool. Uh, last question. So you're you're my favorite enigma to watch because you miss as many black holes as you land, <laughs> and that is actually a very cool thing. Now I'm I have to ask you like where does this confidence come from to throw out the worst black hole ever, and the best black hole ever? Where where do you find this uh, this inner drive? Well, I mean I think people they kind of underestimate me whenever I read some comments about how I'm missing black holes and like you know how how do I have the confidence? Like I'm a I'm a level 30 enigma. Last year I played. A major where, where Enigma was my main hero at the Stockholm. I was like destroying. I remember the one game against Thunder where it was like 0-5 and we destroyed that game anyways. So I know my Enigma's insane no style. Even though I missed some black holes, then you know it's fine. I'll know that the the next one, uh, you know, I'll hit that one. Like for example, at this major, I had like a really nice four-man black hole against uh, Liquid, but the game bugged and I got stunned by the by the tiny Q. It's very unlucky. But whenever that happens, I'm like, okay, well, this is unlucky. I know that that my Enigma is right here, but unfortunately, because, you know, bugs and stuff, I, I missed <laughs> that one. But uh, I'll just bring it up. All right. And if you're right there in Enigma, where is everybody else? Because I think you're there uh, and everybody else is there because nobody else is missing as many black holes. That's the sign of a good Enigma. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. It's like, I don't know, these these other Enigmas are like so boring, it's especially for the free. I mean, I don't want to call him out or anything, but <laughs> all of these enigmas, they they go or us and they just farm creeps. And Bulba told me to do the same thing and I just hate it. I just want to get some holes, you know, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, that's just my place though. It sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Well, it's very fun to watch. Thank you for that. Yeah. I was going to ask about Enigma Black Holes as well, because he's, he's one of my favorite heroes to play. You're an inspiration, sir. Whether you know it or not, you're an inspiration, because seeing someone of your caliber miss Black Holes really does fill me with confidence. <laughs> when I miss one, I could be like, hey, even Saberlight misses Black Holes. You just gotta, you got to worry about the next one. You can't think about every single Black Hole isn't going to be perfect. Think about the next one, right? Stay positive. Exactly. Also, I have a That's question. Whole. Sometimes you've held up a mug We've seen you on the webcam holding up a mug. Do you have it there? Why is it so huge? And what's on it? It's it says uh, in Czech, uh, ideal mug for a real man. Okay. <laughs> that's, my, that's my Sigma personality uh, oh my God. on the mug. But that's my that's my watermark. I have another. This is my this is my Coca Cola. I've got I've got uh, one of those mark. as well. Yeah. 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 So whenever I like, whenever I go to the kitchen. I fill up the small mug with like some soda or something, but I also have to fill up the big mug with water. So then, so then I have the water here, and I'm too lazy to like fill up with soda again. So I finish the water and the soda as well. That's very so, good. Know, that 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 way I make sure that I drink water. Excellent. I was wondering. Thank you for answering that important question. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time to talk to us, Saberlight. Uh, we'll we'll let you to packing. Looking forward to seeing you join the guys uh, in Berlin. And looking forward, of course, to seeing you playing again tomorrow. Congratulations on a great series and have a good travels. All right. Thank you very much. And bing bong. <laughs> bing <laughs> bong. <laughs>